We're in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Chef Jennifer Chapman is here from Dwarf Tavern, and we're gonna make lobster and crab topped roasted cod. We uh, gotta keep the uh, the penguins out of the out of the kitchen today because I'll be in yeah. here smelling the fish and wanting to eat. What are some of the ingredients we need for this recipe? Well, we have fresh cod. We have um, lobster meat, lump crab meat, uh, charisse, sweet potato, um, little necks, mm -hmm. white wine, red onion, garlic, saffron, maple syrup, ancho chili powder, heavy cream, and a little bit of oil. Okay, the expensive thing is the saffron, right? Yes. That's the real expensive thing. Is there anything, if anyone isn't able to get the saffron, um, they, is, that, is that a major part of this recipe? Can we replace it? Because it is so expensive. Uh, you could just do it without if you'd like and just make the cream sauce with the white wine and the garlic. That would be really nice, too. Uh, they also sell it in like a powder form, I think. Okay. So you could substitute Cheaper. it for that, too. Mm -hmm. And about how much of the lobster do we have here? Uh, I'd say you probably want about one lobster at a pound and a quarter for like four people. That's what I did the serving for. Okay. And we also have the was it sweet, sweet potato? Uh, yep, sweet potato and charisse. Okay, and then the, the cod. All right, um, I need the cod. What am I looking for when I get the cod for this recipe? Cod, uh, you know, just usually they just sell it as as is with right. the cod loin. You don't usually get a whole fish or anything. Uh, you want it to be very firm. Yep. Um, white. Right. It doesn't smell like fish. Got it. Okay, all right. We've got our ingredients ready to go. We're going to piece everything together in just a little bit. Back to you. We're going to get started making our dish, Chef Jen Chapman from DeWolf Tavern. And what are we up to now? What's our first step? Um, so we are steaming clams, which okay. they are open now. I've been doing it for about probably six minutes. What should you keep in mind? I mean, how, how does one exactly, do you have to prep anything with the water or what temperature are we doing? Uh, you can pretty much steam them in anything, you know, beer, uh, wine, or just like maybe um, apple juice be good for the season. Oh, wow, I've never thought to do it with apple juice. Of course, when you're doing it with alcohol, I mean, it's, it's all family friendly because that'll burn off, correct? Yeah. Okay, good Definitely. to know. So um, we're gonna just do doing those. water right now. Just plain water. Just plain all right, water. we wanna taste the natural, uh, taste of the little necks there. And we also have cod. Yep. All right, so what do we need to do for this step? Let's see. I'm gonna put these in here. Okay. Take the cod. So you wanna put the cod on the pan? Okay. Here we are. Sprinkle a little bit of salt. And then we're just gonna top it with the- Maybe that was a lot of salt. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. perfect. All right. Um, just top it with some of the crab and the lobster meat. Crab and lobster. Wow. Yeah, it'll it's be a lot of great seafood going on this. <laughs> Rich dish, um, mm -hmm. but the fish is very light and flaky. Oh, that's good. So, so it'll kind of balance it all out. Is that enough? Exactly. Or should that's, I just put all of that's it? That's perfect. I mean, we'll okay. Just, you know, add, just go a little insane. Great. Here. Well, there it is. I have topped my cod, and we're going to see how this whole dish comes together a little later in the show. Back to you. Chef Jennifer Chapman joins us from Dwarf Tavern. We're making lobster and crab topped roasted cod, and we are ready to go. You've got your pans, they're all heated up, and we're gonna start yep. cooking now, right? All right, so I'm gonna add some oil to each pan. Or is this olive oil, regular oil? Uh, you can use olive oil, olive oil. or okay. canola oil. Like. Right. So we're gonna put that in there. These pans are heated up. Yep. We're gonna add some onions, mm -hmm. half to each. Just regular onions. Take it easy, onion, you right? just put the same thing in, yep. yep. Um, we're gonna do some garlic for both as well. Love garlic. I don't think I can get enough garlic. I'm sorry, everything tastes better with a little garlic in it. Oh yeah. And then for, this is the saffron sauce, so I'm gonna add some saffron thread. Mm -hmm. You were saying because saffron is so expensive, you, you know it's really expensive. You don't have to put it in, but it does add to the flavor of everything you make. It just makes a really nice color. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I add the charise to this one, if it'll come out. Okay, there we go. There it goes. Some sweet potato mash. Oh, delightful. Now that's Charisse. Does that have a little kick to it? Yes. It does. Good. You can use okay. any type of um, sausage, sausage you like. Sausage, whatever you like. Mm -hmm. um, chorizo, whatever's available in your area. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I never even would have thought to, to mix that with the... Salt. With okay. the potato? With the potato. Yeah, I know. Looks like a nice hash. Yeah. Um, for this, we're going to add the wine. Ooh. Then we're gonna hopefully catch fire. Let me step that. If it doesn't catch fire, then you can just reduce it by half. Okay. And it'll do the same thing, get All rid right. of the alcohol. Okay. It's so a good thing you moved back, yeah. <laughs> so this will, how long is this, does this have to simmer for? 
Um, just a little bit okay. until you got the um, yellow from the saffron threads. Mm -hmm. uh, you just want to reduce it by half for yep. the wine to burn off. Okay. Uh, and the onions to be tender, so maybe like about a minute or two. All right. Uh, add some cream, which will thicken it. That is looking good already. And this is not the like, this is a whole whole cream, right? Yep, heavy okay. cream. That's not the light cream. This is yeah. the light stuff. All right. It works better. It does work better. And it tastes better. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's be honest. It's not good for your waist, <laughs> but I like it better. All right. So let that simmer along. How long does this have to cook? Um, Just to the onions are tender, maybe about like five, six minutes. Okay. Not long at all. Okay. And by simmering this for as long as you, you have to, is this going to take that, that harshness of the onion taste away? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It'll be nice and tender and it'll be spicy and mm -hmm. sweet. Right. All right, so this is boiling. And now while this has been going, what's been happening to the rest of the dish? Uh, we have actually the cod with the crab and lobster oh, meat wow. tops. So this is all finished. It's been cooking at 350 for about 10 minutes, 15. Okay. And it's I know you said dish. like 10 minutes. How do you know that it's really done? Are we just heating this up or are we thoroughly You just kind of want to touch it. Um, you can put a pick through it and if it comes out really clean, mm -hmm. then it's done. If it's a little hard to push the pick through, it then... It still needs a little extra time. Yeah. Okay. okay. So put that down. Now when you said you can squish it to feel it, which, which would we be looking yeah, for? Yeah, I mean, you just, just kind of want it to be a little bit giving. You mm -hmm. don't want it to be um, yeah. too hard. Okay. This is good to know because Will and I both don't really cook that much fish, so we're... Right. <laughs> Just put that in there. Yep. And this has been simmering away. This is actually boiling away, and you said reduce yeah. this by half to get the alcohol out yes. of the wine, right? Okay. Beautiful. Just have a few seconds left. Yes. Pour a little bit of... Pour that in. That. Amazing. Put that on. Work of art right there. seafood lover. This is a dish you are going to love. That is gorgeous. Looks good. Awesome. Well, it Put smells good. Up. And for those of you who like seafood, I mean, you're getting a lot. You're getting all different types right there in one types. plate. Yeah. And Beautiful. if you want this recipe, you can head to our website, WPRI.com.